All right, so we are playing Mono Green Tron. Uh, this is the list that I ran yesterday, minus one change. Um, so we're still doing the three forests. I know it's suspect, right? No, this is uh, actually, um, uh, this has not the proper amount. We, we are doing... Factory? Factory. Woo! All right, we're back on the factory. I did I did run that yesterday and it was actually, you know, it's it's good. It, it um, dumpsters people. It's great. Yeah. So we're going to update that real quick. Yeah, so we're running the uh, the three forests, Blast Zone, Ghost Quarter, Sanctum, and Urza's Factory um, for the Utility Lands, Tron Lands. Uh, we're on four Stirrings, four Scryings, both Chromatics, and then the Expedition Maps. We're dropping down to two Relics here in the main, um, so we can, uh, you know, we don't really need the third and the fourth anymore as much. Um, three O Stones, four Karns, three Worm Coils. Four liber uh, liberateds, two Ugans, two ballista. I mean, one ballista and two Ulamogs. Um, Where did two Ulamogs? Yeah. Oh, you're straight savage. I think yesterday I ran one Ulamog, and there was uh, it punished me pretty hard. Multiple occasions where the second one would have helped. Yep, would have won the game. Yeah, Noah and I were coming to that. Um, in the side, we're on two claims, one Thrag, two Thoughts, and then we're on a Relic, a Liquid Metal, a Pithy Needle, a Torpor Orb. This is because Andrew wants a Torpor Orb. I mean, uh, Ensnaring Bridge, Trinosphere, Crucible, uh, Mycosynth, a Ballista, and a Worm Coil. We actually trimmed the O Stone out of the side, and we're on the Walking Ballista now. So you're you're the Tron Master here, doing? I'm just asking the Not even questions close to here. The master. So why are we playing four Great Creator instead of three Great Creator and one World Breaker? What? Let's cut a great creator. World breaker. No. All right. I tried. Sorry, chat. Like, if you want to cut something, I am more than fine to fit in. We can cut, like, a worm coil oh, or an ulamog and put in a world breaker, but I don't want to cut a great creator. No? No. Noah's on, the, Noah's on the three and the one. I don't believe in it. All right. That's fine. reasonable. So. I'll just tell Noah that he's wrong next time I see him. Well, he, like... <laughs> I just messed with You can tell me he's wrong. <laughs> like, well, I'll so say this. I don't believe in going it. three great creators because, like, you're dedicating, like, so nine, much your sideboard nine, nine to ten cards in your sideboard for this. You're like, oh, yeah, it's not a big deal. Like, I don't know. If you have to dedicate that much to it, I'd rather just, like, be able to consistently go to that plan. How relevant would World Breaker be? World right. Breaker is really only relevant against the mirror match. Humans. Humans. And then it also would be punishing against like Amulet. You can take away one of their bounce knights to get a two for one. That's pretty sweet. Or take out their relevant piece. Um, it is relevant against the Urza decks now. And blue white. I don't think it's actually relevant against blue white. It's it's actually pretty good because you strip you strip them off a of land, and that deck heavily needs lands against Tron or setup. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. All right, no uh, Tron pieces that are relevant enough. Yep. We're professionals right now. This is what happened to me yesterday, this my first two rounds. Even worse. This right here? Snap teeth. So we'll keep this. Ship that warm coil engine right to the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, probably the Ostone. No, it's Sanctum. Yeah, I'm shipping the Sanctum here. And we're on the draw, so we're in actually a pretty good spot. I don't know about good. We don't actually have a way to generate green. green. We're in a great spot. We're not that great. We're in a great spot. You know what's going to happen? We're what? just going to naturally draw the, the piece off the top. No big deal. We're professionals. <laughs> yeah, that happened. I was like, uh, I would have been dead yesterday if I didn't rip the tower off the top. It was kind of crazy. Mm. Oh, sinkhole, looting. Probably this Phoenix. looks like... Yeah, Phoenix. Big by Blue Delta. Yeah. yeah. This is no, no sense nice. getting cute with the with the relic progenitus. The GP went uh, about as good as expected. <laughs> I burnt eighty five dollars at the uh, the main event, and then uh, we can get rid of one looting here, two looting. I think let's just not waste it. Let's just crack the relic. Seven. Yeah, so I went to one and two oh, at the uh, one and two in the uh, the GP, and I could have kept playing. My deck was okay. Um, it didn't have any relevant like bombs or anything like that, 
and um, had some good interaction, but I didn't feel that I would be able to win out the rest of the day, so I just dropped and joined the MCQ. Yeah, so. I, uh, when you sent your list to everybody of what mm -hmm. you pulled, I was like, there's no way. Yeah, it was a very was mediocre bad. pool. Like, I could grind out my opponent and possibly get there, and that's what happened on my... The problem, problem with core sets is you need bombs. You do. Um, so, uh, that thought. this is a one instance where cracking the relic and just blew our opponent uh, just completely out of the water. They wasted a whole turn, because they just need a land. Where they would have just used the Faithless Looting flashback, otherwise. Yeah, yeah it was a, it was a sure. good time to crack. Getting two Faithless Looting is huge. Yeah. And we needed to draw as well. Yeah, for sure. Taking the ears. Actually, not that bad. Ooh. Uh, so we have a total of nine mana? Yeah, we have nine mana. We can't insta lock them right now. We can go Karn into. Um, Karn into a Trinisphere, and that's what I'm thinking could be the best bet. I think that's reasonable. And then next turn, we can go for the. Uh, go for the lock. That big of a deal. Yeah, we will turn over into a Yeah. Trinisphere is such a beating against them. Yeah. Though it does. Uh... Oh, you know what we should have put in the sideboard? What's that? We should have tested the uh, the new frenzy. That card's bad in this it's deck. It's so good. That card's so bad in this deck. It's, it's not. This is not the right deck for on. it. It's huge. It's not huge. <laughs> that forge. Literally not perfect. Actually, most perfect. The fact that we're going to exile that phoenix. <laughs> Professionals. See, I, I'm not that great of a limited player, and my pool is pretty terrible. Like, I don't think we... Okay. Our opponent gets you, but I don't think we would exile them. We would just blow up the phoenix. What? No, we exile. Why wouldn't we exile? I'm not going to flip the phoenix. I don't want them to bring back the bird either. I guess they can't bring back they the can't. bird. Come on. Um, we want the nature's claims. And I'm good with the, the thoughts. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, Ulamog's really bad. Walking the list is not great. Uh, I can probably shave a worm coil. Yeah. Debatably another worm coil for so? a thrag. You think so? Yeah, because like, the life gain's pretty relevant. And then bouncing the yeah. frag toast. And having the, a threat left that's, behind. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we're going to bring in the relic, though. I like that. Cut and a... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's try this. Realistically, Worm Coil is not that good in this matchup. No, it's... It really doesn't do it. No, but it's like... So the reason that it is good is when you, you're it... pressuring so much and you have something to swing back with. Like, after they flip their uh, thing in the ice, you can just be able to block with it and take things down. And then... Uh, when they blood moon you, you can still put a relevant threat out sure. so sooner. Sure. So. And is actually pretty. I like. It. I'm shipping it. <laughs> so uh, the reason I don't keep this this hand on seven is because like, um, you have a higher chance of just forming Tron, um, if you go to six because this hand okay. doesn't like. Okay, with the new home. mulligans, I see it. Okay. So like this hand, I guess I'll keep. Uh, it's it's a turn for Just ship, ship one Sylvan Shrine to the bottom. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna ship one Sylvan Shrine. So like, I will keep hands. I think as, long as, you, as long as you, as long as it's guaranteed. Yeah, as long as I'm forming Tron, I'll keep the hand. But if I'm like not forming Tron, I won't keep that hand. Expedition map off the top is timely. That's actually not that big of a deal. No. Because we have these Sylvan Shrine. This is though an example of why Spell Pierce is ridiculous. Especially right now. Spell Pierce 2 open, please nerf. I mean, it's actually exactly where it needs to be, right? Yeah, better than Force of Negation. Ooh, Shots Fire, Force of Negation, garbage card. It's a good card. It's terrible. It's a good card. It's terrible. It's a good card. Chat, my, fight me on it. Force of Negation, bad card. Chat didn't pipe up. <laughs> Is that a reason? <laughs> It's not like valid, oh my god. See, look at that force of negation! <laughs> Still terrible. <laughs> Their 
Here goes their blood moon in the Phoenix. Card is fine. You're right. The card, Force Negation, is fine. Not good. Not great. Yeah, it's a good card. Here. Listen to the brown rice. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know. Well, we're going to have to deal with That's two Arclight Phoenixes. Uh, that's three Arclight mm -hmm. Phoenixes. Can I get an Oofage? We're probably dead. <laughs> we're very dead. I think we just conceived this game. <laughs> if we rip a trial piece, we're fine. Uh, it's a free roll. No, it's not. I guess we have to hit the trial piece off of this. That's the only way we're staying in this game. <laughs> we're done here. <laughs> My bones hurt so bad. Alright, let's try it again. Yeah, I don't know. I think like I it's, think we just we just got blown up by double it's double counter spell. It's fulfilling a role that isn't there right now for you. I don't think I just don't think it's that good. I was when I was playing robots the other night and somebody had force negation. Hmm. They were like they were debating on force negating a uh, spring leaf drummer on Mox Opal. And I'm like, just slow me down, I'm just like, sure dude. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'd be try like, I would be, I would find it relevant, like, being able to force your, like, um, cranial plating. But he ended up doing that, but I had a master. Already, so That's not a reason for why the card's bad, because you had a backup answer. Oh, is that a backup? <laughs> like, it's still a relevant card. It did what it was supposed to do. Right? Like, this game's really good. No, this game can be good. We're going to really keep good. it because it has two pieces of drawn, but... We're going to rip the third one off the top. What do you think we're doing here? We're professionals. Right, chat? Professional. We got this. We got this. So, yeah, and then I went 4 and 2 in the MCQ. Um, unfortunately, that was only enough. I didn't go 4 and 2, sorry. I could have gone 4 and 2, but uh, I was, like, super hungry, and so was the rest of my team. And, like, they started MCQ at, like, uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's late. It's so late. It's so, like, the event didn't get over. Uh, if we would have played that last round, it would have been, like, Midnight plus. Not midnight, uh, like 10, 10, 10 30. And like, I was not gonna do that. Cause then after that, get food and get back to the hotel is gonna be like midnight plus. We're like, let's just go get food now. Perfect. We're a monster. I told you, professionals. Let's say they counter this. They're gonna counter it. Oh, they counter it. Oh, um, so I'm gonna get. I like the Greek creator. Yeah. Reveals to him we have a threat, but at the same time, it's like, they're going to have to answer two cards in the Nugan, so. They're going to have to answer two cards in the Nugan. That's why grabbing mm -hmm. the land might have been relevant. Uh, oh, we got the Professionals. Land Alright, let's see if they counter this uh, great creator. Yeah. I agree. I don't think it would have ticked no, we have to. Have to we're going to get another... Grab Trinosphere. Yeah, exactly. We're going to grab another threat they have to answer. Got her. That's fine. That's fine. Then they're going to bolt the Great Creator. That's yeah. absolutely fine. Yep, you do. Where are we? Nine people. It's great. They're so popular. And they whiff. I mean, they got looting. How's that all with? They're spending their entire turn looting. They're dead. It's fine. They're dead. They don't even know. They're bringing back phoenixes this turn. It's fine. They're gonna bring back like five phoenixes. Right. We're gonna play O-Stone. And then we're gonna Ugin and we're gonna cry. We're gonna play O-Stone. They're gonna be like, well, I don't have an answer. So they're flashing back looting. There's one phoenix. That's a bolt. They're tapped out. What a great day! Slam it down. Force of negation. Nope. See? How great would a force been at that moment right there? Fine. Hold it. But nothing's ever good enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's no cranial plating. Dang, the cranial plating is irrelevant here. It's because they're not they're not doing the build around, baby. I guess. 
No, you know what would have been great? What? We'd have Mystic Forge in play. <laughs> Mystic what? Mystic Forge. Why is that card even... Like, that card doesn't do anything for us. It's great. Not great. Should I get Noah on the line? You can get Noah on the line. Commander would be better. Then what? Our know, opponent's got to be frustrated. Right I should have right lost here. I was just F16 past this. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I played some. Uh, I, I kind of want to like build a commander deck. Yeah. A little bit. You can play with two commanders. I don't know. That's why it's a little bit. <laughs> Oh, Commandeer would be better. That's a huge commitment, Commandeer. You know what? I'm in. Phoenix just needs to start mainboarding Commandeer. We can just, like, play, like, Pitch Blue. <laughs> How many cards do you have to pitch for Commandeer? Two? Two. It's huge. The cost is outrageous. Fuck. Do they have any Phoenixes? So we're or just, Phoenix. We're just gonna tick up and then just cast Thrag Tusk. Uh, I'm gonna tick up and cast Ugin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ugin's gonna be able to exile their um, exile their thing in the ice. And we're gonna pretend like we just rip it off the top. Oh my god, so lucky. So lucky. <laughs> we're professionals. Oh my gosh. Concede. Boom. First one I on see, the books. I see what you're talking about where Tron Leagues go by really fast. I know. Where your opponents just concede. <laughs> well, like, I did the same thing. If I if the game's over, I just concede. Like, so that's how you make money. That's why I'm being nice to people when I say they're just dead. You, uh, like, I felt really bad. Uh, like, so I had FNM. I played against... Um, one kid was a younger burn player, and then one person was, um, the guy was super cool, uh, he was a teacher, uh, a Latin teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, was this a gold man? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, like, uh, it was hilarious, because he knew that he didn't know cards, but he would just make, like, these, like... Keep. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Well, how is that a keep? That <laughs> wasn't... <laughs> the symbol can too. Yes, it is. Sir. Uh, unless... No... You're talking about chaining Blast Zone into Star, crack it, get a Tron piece, put down, get map, and then hope to rip another green. You're acting like that's unreasonable. It is unreasonable. This is also, like, not this good. This is horrible. Why do we play this deck? I don't even know. <laughs> We're going to four. Oh my God. We're going to three. Yeah, I'll keep this. What? One. Jack, can you remind us why we play this deck? Two. Three. Four. It's totally reasonable. This is fine. You'll probably concede. <laughs> Should we just concede? No, no, no. Play the fourth. It right. reveals nothing. So, like, the dude was really cool because he was like, because I was, I was fine. I was cracking up because he was making those, like, jokes. Okay, no, we are not conceding. <laughs> he played a very conclave. We ripped a tribe piece off the top. The game is over. <laughs> No, we need to rip two. <laughs> We're professionals. Oh my gosh. Force us. Oh, F6. Sorry. This hand is great. This hand is great. We just farm Tron on a mold of three. We just farm Tron on a mold of three. No problem. <laughs> nice fairy time. Crow, you're going to come in here and talk about our nice hand? I appreciate you so much. Oh, we're good fish. Okay, so yeah, we won, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. What are you talking about? They play spreading seas. Oh, please. They play spreading seas. Nobody plays that garbage. They literally play spreading seas. I'm in. So we just need to draw another Tron language. Blow it out with Ulamog. That's in two turns. They also, I want... Um, lucky. Lucky. So, <laughs> yeah. That spreading seas, huh? It's fine. Oh, they got they oh, drew the vial too. Turn, turn three vial, just like you drew it up. Drew the vial. Unbelievable. What's up, Merkin? Nice. Nice. We need to draw one more land, so. We need to draw one <laughs> nice more land. Fish nerd. <laughs> I 
We're gonna die. Did I ever tell you about the the Winamax event with the where I played against Tron? The guy you've told me about the guy Winamax didn't no, read O Stone. Oh yeah, he didn't know to blow up light. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't this after you like you did something to him too? Like I was, was like, oh, your your Ulamog's dead. He goes indestructible. Yeah. Like really cocky, and I'm just like, really? Oh, that's right, because it's, it's just the layer of attack. Yeah, cool. He goes. Your creature's dead. I'm like, no, it's not. He goes, what? I'm like, land. <laughs> oh, we're professionals. Yeah, you both were like terrible people, for the record, for doing that. You're like, yeah, indestructible. And then like, yeah, land. <laughs> I, wouldn't have done, I wouldn't have done it if he wasn't so cocky first. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sweet. Yeah, You're kind of just like a cocky bastard all day. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like the entire day. I lost. Okay, I mean, I mean he did just win a mox. Like, I feel like you have to be a little cocky yes. for winning a mox. This was before. He oh, won. this was before you this won. This is my. This is my play for top eight. <laughs> I my only loss was to Blake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Blake, got I drew. <laughs> I was playing Santee Lee and then drew fifteen of them. He was being a cocky bitch. That was horrible. I I don't think we cried. What? Why not? Because it's sort of like... If we draw any land, we get to cast Ulamog. Take out All right. two of their things, You're, you're right? the drawing professional here. I feel like the chance is pretty good for drawing a land, or just a threat. They're going to stifle bird us. Oh, okay. That's cool. So now we have one turn. Yep. Yeah, come on. Ah, yeah, see? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So we exile the Muta Vault? That's gonna take up. If we take down, um, hmm. we are not dead to a lord. Fairy yeah. Conclave takes two to two activate. to animate. Yeah, yeah. So we okay. exile the mutable. Well, no, they could flash in the the uh, the the flash merfolk, and then that's, that's true. That's yeah, true. let's take up. Let's just save that. They don't really have a great way to deal with Karn. Their main board is coming true, so that's cool. I feel like that has to be a one up, right? So? What do we get? Carpenter. <laughs> oh, that's not the flash. Yeah, this is the flash. The trick oh, okay. See? Okay. Okay. I was like, oh, man. Called it. That's why I'm a master. I'm not a master. Try master, baby. I'm not a master. You gonna right. animate the mutable? He could and make uh, us take six or uh, take the corn. No, it's uh, yeah, put the four. I think that's reasonable because it yeah. kills corn on the next turn. <clears throat> Land or threat. Perfect. Is it? Yep. You got play five Karn. mana. Play corn, but John is daring bridge. There. Literally can't. Play. They're gonna echo in truth, let's watch. Just plus with turn greedy. No sense getting greedy. What we get? Anthic Biomancer. Mm -hmm. That card's so good for this Merfolk deck. Very good. Very cool card. That was a great addition for that. I got a, I pulled a foil one out of a standard shuffle pack. Mm -hmm. Immediately got rid of it for like six bucks. Conceded the game. Can't beat Disney. This is why I think that Karn Great Creator might get a little too bumpy. That's a mold of three. <laughs> <laughs> no, like so. I want to, I want to point something out. This is, this is serious. So we won because we mold so low. And the reason being is because Khan the Great Creator, the lower you mull, the better he is. What? No. Oh my god. If, I got, if we wouldn't have mulled, we would have played all relevant threats no, I know, I know. sooner, took it uh, out there. No, Noah, there were multiple games Noah just mulled the three and just drew a Khan the Great Creator off the top and just won. Because he had no cards in hand. Just I'm, just, I'm just clicking accept it. We took out the two relics, brought in the two nature's claim, and that's all Beautiful. we, that's that's all all we need. Um, this is a, just so people know, this is a terrible matchup for fish. It wouldn't, even it if is. they add it. They used, it's so bad 
The, they play force negation now, though. Yeah, the just. Yeah. Um, the so fish used to run a playset of uh, Hercules Recall and a playset of what do you call it? The other spreading seas, seas claim. Yeah. They used to play a playset of each because their play, matchup versus aggro affinity was so bad. And their matchup against Tron is so bad. What? With they, the new additions, it's They not also play that because people were super greedy with their mana base. It's not any better. It's. Fish is just not good. You say it's not good enough. Uh, yeah. I, it was fine. The hit was not fine. Form Tron. No, it didn't. Yeah, it had map and str- uh, scrum. With one land. Yeah, we did. We had a star. We were in good shape. No! Unbelievable. We're just going to hold four again. <laughs> Just win. Uh, we'll keep this far. No, no, no. No way of forming Tron. Small three. We're in good shape. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to show the power of the London Mulligan people. Keep. Snap, keep. We got exp- We have Tron. Fair balance and it. You guys are the worst. <laughs> what would you do without me doing? Tell me. This is ridiculous. That was We're draw, oh, look, at that, <laughs> look at that, Jack! Great creator off the top! They're gonna counter this, we're gonna be dead. It's fine. We'll draw it off the top. Don't oh, count they it. are countering it. Oh my god! Don't count it. <laughs> ah! It's fine. <sighs> we'll draw the tower off the top. See, Kine? See, Andrew? He's still, Kine told you to calm down. Relax. Yeah, he's right. Don't spread his Jesus. Do it, man. It's fine. <laughs> Nice silver gill. Pearl in hand. Free information, baby. Tower. Oh, I'm not cracking here because I want to do it next turn in case we. In case we draw someone's crying yeah. off the crack. Yeah. We're now Lord beat us for three. If, he, if he's doing that, he's not playing on the first one. Beautiful. Tower. Beautiful. We didn't see another mines or a uh, power point, so we're that much closer. So if we draw Nature's Claim off the top, it's not. I got one lord in hand and three unknowns. That's two lords then, because the other one was a pearl trident. Yeah. Yes, it was. So they just reveal pre information. Correct. Nice. So six damage. So the next turn, uh, that is the next turn. It sure is. Okay. So we crack. If we get a major plan, we will win. That is not a major claim. It means we're dead. We're very dead. We can play Great Creator and do nothing. We could have, uh, probably just should have just ran out Great Creator and got in Minus Steering got Bridge. Minus Bridge. And see if they, t- if they swing at it, if they can't do math. <laughs> Actually, I've won games like that. We would have been at one. No. No, yes. They played the other Lord. The 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 uh, the fairies would have been up. Uh, the other two would have been at four fours, and then the uh, Lantis would have They're been right. three. We would have been at one. Unbelievable, dude! Why can't you do math? We we shouldn't have conceded. We actually had that game. I'm so mad at myself. We can't keep sevens, but we can keep Sounds a six. Good. Just put the. I'm gonna ship the Ulabog. Oh, I'm so greedy about that. <laughs> you want a what? I want to keep it so bad. So they put to the bottom. Don't, just do it. Just don't let me see. Is it over? Where it's over. Ah, oh, yeah. That was like bad. He didn't answer you. Hmm? I like how he didn't answer you. He'd figure it out. Let's <laughs> give it up time. Third down to five. Big fan of this mulligan rule, too. Well, it's so good. Through, through playtesting, it's actually pretty cool. Hmm? Why does it kind of show you where their hands are? Uh, right up here. Oh, okay. It tells you how much time they have, their deck size, and their hand size. Do we just naturally draw a Tron? Yeah, we're good at this game. Of course we are. 
I mean, we won games, we molded three. Yeah, come on. We could grab the stone. Yeah. That one? Yeah, yeah. You probably only hate it because it was on like every play map. That might be a reason why. <laughs> I also think the original art is just beautiful. So I pulled one blue up. You yeah. got it, opponent? They got, they got the rejection. They're. Yeah. Good thing we drew a backup for no reason. No big deal. Also, one point we could have cast a walk already. No. We have all the lands in hand. We're good. No. <laughs> it might have been the proper play. What would we have shipped? Because you would have shipped Karn. Absolutely. Because if, if the only other reasonable <laughs> ship, the only other reasonable ship was Forest, which means we wouldn't have enough mana right now. <laughs> we would have drew it off the top. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I kind of like just running uh, O-Stone out there. You know what I am going to do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Sanctum. Yeah. 100%. So I can cast this a little longer heard about. I've heard good things. <laughs> Our opponent's got a beautiful island, though. What's that Mirage? Got the Mirage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fine. Does our opponent not realize we've expedition now? I'm not sure they do realize that. I'm also surprised they tapped their blue sources. Yeah. Oh, they just They're returning a war with the hand. Yeah, that's why that's why mm -hmm. that card's good. Um they have another power point. Uh-huh. It's unfortunate they didn't uh, hit the mine. Are not cutting the reader though. Well, it's probably the weakest lord. Yeah, so that makes sense. By far. Well, I, I still really like Tobias's. Uh, he had uh, green bloomer folk. Mm -hmm. So sweet. Uh, so sad. Uh, Blast zone. Factory. Didn't do enough. Blast zone. They have one card in hand. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. We could minus get rid of the mutapult. They are already strapped on lands as is. Okay. And then take uh, the blast zone up to two, and then just kind of just blow them out. They have one card in hand. Okay. Fire our opponent. I, I think they were a little hasty with that second lord. I don't know. So their attack for five, put Karn to five. It would have let Karn down to and stay alive. If and they... then on the next turn, if they flash that car, the lord in mm -hmm. at the end step, let us do our thing, they then kill the Karn in combat. Yeah. 
And we still holding up mana for Blasso. <laughs> and opponent concedes in three, two, one. This is like really hard for them to deal with. Very much. So. They have one card in hand. Especially because their entire deck CMC is two. So we won on a mold of three. We almost won on a mold of four, but we conceded too early. And oh, that was a multi three as well. Oh yeah, it was a multi three. I wanted to do the reasonable thing and keep the four. And you're like, no, no, can't do it. There's a four tron. No, I was, I was being. If anything, I was being reasonable. Yeah, you were being a tron player. Totally cool with them hitting. Moving to one. Oh, he's swinging at us? I don't care. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. I, I was a little too soon with the concession beforehand, Dewey. The Fairy Conclave and the. Oh, I was gonna say, get rid of the vial, too. Reasonable magic. Reasonable magic. Hey, I like this whole the uh, no hogak business anymore. People oh, are playing Faradex again. Fair and reasonable magic. <laughs> Doctor Hell was on the amulet yesterday. I like the amulet. I do like amulet. I think it's fine. This is awkward, but uh, I think this is probably I good. Kind of like it. Yeah, it's probably good enough. So, we're on the draw. No, we're on the play. On the next turn, if we draw another Tron piece, find the last Tron piece. This worst comes to worst, we crack the stirrings and play Scrying for a green. Oh, we don't even need the green. We probably still need to go get the green. Uh, think so? Yeah, because then we can just change Or we get Ancient Stirrings right now. And then run out of another star. I like that. Find second Tron piece. Because we're Tron professionals. I don't see You're not piece. wrong. We did find another Tron piece. A good <laughs> map. It's fine. I'm not a big fan of the Forge card. Uh, they, uh, Andrew was just uh, talking about it a second ago. I think Dewey's being what we like to call... He's trying to be unreasonable. Like, what is the what is the card even going to do for you? So no one I've talked about it quite a bit. Okay. So our thought process is it allows you to play pretty much everything that you want off the top of your library. I don't know. And you can manipulate the top of your library with stars and maps and such. And then if you can't, you just pay a land and get rid of it. Thank you for the follow, Mama Bear, at 9917. Much appreciated. Um, I don't know, like... Does it actually do anything though? Like actually do anything? Like it, it like you're getting it for what? What what, what matchups are you gonna go fetch that up? Uh blue eye control. Right. So like mid range deck. I'd rather go just go get the threat, because we can try. Well you know I, I won't even say I don't think the card's good enough, but I'm more than willing to try it out. I think you should. They're gonna shadow down us. Just, I've been shadowed down, it's pretty rude. We have George in the chat. Shout out to you for uh, shadow doubting me several times. Yeah, you could bring it in against Control and Jun, but I don't know. I don't really give the card too much credit, and I probably should test it out before I uh, say that. It's like me with Experimental Frenzy. I like Experimental Frenzy. If you're play testing, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. The issue is, what else do we cut to? It's t the problem is the, uh, the genie Tron list is super, the board is super tight already. We're gonna just draw the Tron piece off this. We're professionals. There you go, Chad. <laughs> so the thing we, is, we can't play anything. We have a total of eight mana. So let's just so start. Find Karn. 
This is Jun? Yeah, it looks like, like Jun. I'd rather get Worm Coil against Jun. Uh, no, 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 no. You want to get Karn? Yeah, Karn uptick, maybe. Okay. They got nothing that gets rid of Karn. They have a lot that gets rid of Karn. They don't run Metro Pulse anymore. They run four trophies now. That's we need green anyways. They're helping us out, really. So what's funny is if they actually assassin trophy Karn, we get to cast Ulamog next turn. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Plague Engineer, man. What if that Plague Engineer, what if they got three of them killed off our worms, you know? <laughs> actually, uh, I was uh, a little down on Plague Engineer, I think. It's a good card. I didn't realize it had Death Touch. It's a good card. Until re recently. That is perfectly fine. Discard. I'm going to discard the Ghost Corner. No, 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 no. What do you mean, no? Discard Soul Discard. You know? No, because I need, in, in case they trophy us, I want to be able to reform Tron. All right. I mean. Yeah, trophy does kill Karn real good. That's fine. They don't got it. They're like blood braid into it. Oh, it's fine. We're going to little log him. It's fine. I know. There's the blood oh my brain. goodness. There's okay. the blood brain. Oh, it's oh, unfortunate. So they're going to do half our life right now. Which, uh, that's reasonable. So you got two cards in hand? Mm-hmm. Uh, so we need a Tron land, specifically now. We can go... Oh, we can get a tower. Uh, we can get a tower and still have enough mana. Is that enough? Yeah. So we have eight so right now. This is this is at current we are at eight mana. Yeah. And then we're gonna minus two and go get so it's still short. That's fine. That's fine. We're professionals. Uh red. Yeah. We're just we're just like really good at this game. You know, like Ulamog is a messed up magic card. Like people question it, but then here we are, just you know. And now we're ripping, gonna, we're ripping. now we're gonna do the Dewey special up down up down up down up down. No, they're definitely conceding, like right now. There we go. See, there it is, Ulamog baby. And this match might really, I like thought knots here. You like thought knots here? I do. That's so interesting. So, I think it's trash. So, so here's my reason. Here's my reason. I, I like Pithy Needle. I like Thought Nuts here. I like Relic. Huh. So, so my reasoning being... So you being, would bring in this, this, and this. Yes. Okay. My reasoning being is the what they're going to... What you're thinking they're going to do is they're going to, like, minus Liliana, or they're going to, um... They're not, they're not going to hit having push anymore in this matchup. They're right. cutting that out. Right. Yeah. So the only kill that they have for Thought Knots here is Leliana. Yeah. So that's your cyber plan. This would be my cyber plan. I actually wouldn't bring in the Pithy Needle. I'd bring in the Thrag Tusk. You don't like the Pithy Needle? I think Pithy Needle is great against John. I'd rather go fetch it up. Sure. Reasonable. Okay. And I, uh, that's probably what I would do. And I would probably cut the Ulamogs because you're almost never going to Is John playing... Blood Moon? Oh, yeah, you're right. They do have Trophy to get rid of the Thought Knots here. But if they're if they're trophying to get rid of Thought Knots here... And for the record, I think Thought Knot is bad. I would rather okay. just... I'd most likely just do that up there. Because Relic's sweet against them. Thragtus is a relevant creature. Ulamog is really hard for you to cast because they do increase the land destruction plan. Now, the only reason... They bring Fulminators. And, you can, and, that's, and that's another reason I bring Thought Knot in. So yeah. I could put an extra clock on them. Sure. But then what are you cutting? So are you going to cut, what, Ballista? I don't like Ballista in this matchup. And a Karn? That's reasonable. Okay, we'll do that. For the record, Dewey's absolutely right about Thrag Tusk and keeping in the, uh... I, yeah, I don't like... Taking out the Pithy Needle. I don't like... I think uh, fetching it up is reasonable. Uh, this hand is terrible. Yeah, real bad. And somehow it get worse. I think this is better than the last one. <laughs> it's close. The terrible. So yeah. we're going to three. Why would you put that in? Oh place? my goodness! We got to keep a reasonable five. All right, we're probably shipping Blast Zone Forest. 
No, blast on sphere. There. You're by one crawl. Wow! Aggressive. Aggressive, especially because no, he has the force he, already. He has. Okay, I'm going to just stirrings right now. Yeah, he uh, knows our hand. Because I don't want him to rip us of another card. Let's just get the tower and be done with it. Okay, um. I like. Great creator. Great creator here, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to leave open to him to rip another card out of our hand, and it just. Um, yeah, he most he definitely has another spell, if, uh, hand destruction spell. If he if he took the star there, yeah. Or he got Liliana. Or he's just banking us not having the ability to form Tron on turn. Uh, That's what you think. Yeah. So um, right. not terrible. Did he mold down quite a bit too? Oh, he mold a six. Why is the control freak playing Jun? I feel like this is rude. Oh, he's gonna Inquisition. I would be really excited if the Inquisition was. Oh, come on, this. come on, do it. We've got two unknown. The one unknown one in unknown. hand. One unknown. One unknown. It's good. It's, re it's reasonable. Oh, right ooh, in six. He's so. Oh. Uh, I disagree with that. I love Ren in six. I guess. It's very good. I cracked one, and I feel like I should move it. Or you keep it play it. I know. I th I'm just trying to think if there's a deck I would play with it. Right. Um, I was trying to think of how I could fit in Rug. I'd have to change. Like, there, I see some bliss running around that run up. You should play it in Rug. Uh, it doesn't seem really unreasonable. You like consistently get land drops. That seems great. Yeah. Well, there goes Karn or Warm Coil. They're going to take Karn. If they leave us Karn, we're going to fetch out Pithy Needle and name Red and Six. Interesting. Why would we Pithy Needle Red and Six? It's too good. Make it land drop, baby. It, our, our Karn just instantly no. dies. Do we, we have a... No. We fetch out Walking Ballista. That we sided up. Or we can get one core. A walking Ballista on two. Uh, it's probably got an artifact removal spell in hand at this point. He's got an Inquisition in hand, right? We know that? Yes. We, that is something we know. So I can't go car and fetch a Ballista and hold it? You know, I don't... And he's got enough... And he does have enough mana to Rage and Ravine. Yep. Um... We could go Karn, Downtick, Ensnaring Bridge, Run on Snaring Bridge, and Expedition Map. I like that. I mean, they have a lot of ways to get rid of artifacts, but it doesn't seem bad. Oh, well, you just got your, uh, your running sixes there, Bryce? I know you were looking for them. It's just so expensive. I just can't. Until the, the people open up this set more, I just I can't commit myself to it. It's too much. Like I think it's I think it's a very good card, but I don't think it's ninety dollar good. Yeah. My problem is I just feel like I couldn't move it, but I just feel like I'm going to need it. Yeah. Mm, that's cool. That's cool. Danny probably picked up his uh, Big Mama Chandra's the GP2. Probably. Of course, knowing him, it's got to be date stamped. If it were me, I would just wait till the comic, you know, they print out like the next Comic Con promo, not this year, but like next year. Mm -hmm. They got a sweet promo of it then. Speaking of the Comic Con promos, the dragons, whatever. Yeah. Did you see those? They look so yeah. Wow, that was aggressive. 
It's a good call. Otherwise, we go and get blast zone. It took it up, take out your uh, six and your confidant. I think we lost. You know, it's not looking. Good. I don't. I don't think we misplayed at all. I think it's just that. Like we, we have one more turn. See, like we have to get lucky and have them hit the wrong land. I uh, see. If I were them, I wouldn't even play Fulminator Mage. I would literally just animate the Raging Ravine. Why would they take out a tower? A lot of people like taking out a tower. But is, it's actually correct to just take the other land. I'm not saying it's not right. I'm saying that's what happens. The tower is the number one card hit. They are at three though. They are. More the image. But they have a Rage Ravine that's going to hit us for four down mm -hmm. to five, and then it's going to finish us off. We're going to take a and blast. Draw break, Tess. Yeah. Because we see the bobs, we should probably put back in Ballista. Yeah, probably. We did not have that information after game one. So. Oh, they're not going for this. Kill. It's interesting. Sure. I'm going up to two here because I feel like anything we draw we can just play. I think two is more relevant than three at this point. And we can take out Goyf if we get it. I kind of really need a Thrag Disk. Let's just reassemble Tron again. See, if our opponent just went for the. If they just went Raging Ring, we were just dead. No, we just go fetch a Ghost Quarter. Eh. Oh, that's right. We did make a Ghost Quarter. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Uh, we probably should just take out the Ren and Six right now. Yeah. from continuously buying back a land to sack a lily. Yeah. We're still on a two-turn clock. Mm-hmm. We're just going to draw... Oh, we took Ulamog out. Couldn't get Ulamog when we ended up. Uh, what could we draw? Ugin. You just draw Ugin off the top. We still lose with Ugin. No, we just shoot him for three. Dirt two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their Bob did so much damage to him. <laughs> we still so so rude. Mm, we don't crack this. They've got one land in hand. Oh no, they pitched it. Yeah, they pitched it. Every time I see you play this gun matchup. He just crush you for some reason. John is not as like it's not as like in our favor as people think it is. I'm honestly. In I didn't know. That. I didn't know. You know me, dude. I just dumpster people with robots. Okay. All right. Formtron. on the play this time. Uh, we should bring back in at least one Ballista. I think it's safe to cut Thought Knots. You want to cut? cut? No. Nah. Let's cut both Thought Knots bring it to Ballistas. Yeah, if they got Bob, I, th I just value putting a Ballista just on one. Yeah. I, did, I thought uh, Jem was off the Bob list, though. No, they've been on Bob. This hand, I like it. Yeah, I'm good with this. The double relic is pretty great. relevant against them, yeah. especially with Ren and Six. So. Um, I think we lead out with... Uh, I'm going to Star. Star? star? Actually, I kind of like leading out with Star Yeah, I like, I like Star Ace. 
There's a good chance they rip it out of our hand, and I'd rather see if I can get a Tron piece off of this. Alright, so there's two power plants at a tower here, so I'm going to grab the power plant because there's uh, going to be uh, three more towers on top of our deck. Somewhere. Right on top. Because we're... No, Relic is super good against Jund. Yeah, especially with them playing right on six now. Shuts down their Goyfs. So I'm just gonna... I also like just throwing out a star. No, First I'd rather be able to hold up the Relic and crack it if we need to to draw a card. Like, we're not, like, we're not in a rush. Just one of those things, don't get cute with the relic, just get rid of the land. Well, if they're gonna get rid of it, you just get rid of it. Yeah. And my other, like, I don't know, like, Sphere with no mana is a liability too, because they can choose to blow it up. If they're being weird. Good. Yeah, form Tron. Now we just need to find something to do with it. <laughs> Realistically, they probably have uh, something to disrupt Tron in their hand right now. Hmm. I do have to be wary of surgical. Yeah, that's why you just hold up the relic as it is right now. And they're going to wait till they crack. And I'm just not cracking it. Nope. And I'm just going to let that go. I don't want to crack the map until after we know what we're searching for. We have a land drop we still have still, so... Exiled Fulminator Mage now? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, we can probably run a one sphere. Yeah, I think so. I don't think that our opponent has, uh, has the four copies of Inquisition in their deck at this point. It's probably like two of that, maybe one. This looks like a blood raid. Sure is. Into a thought seize. That's pretty good for them. Mm -hmm. There goes Great Creator. I should kind of like cracking a star in the end stuff. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we're going to. this relic. Yep. Cool. We're gonna go fetch up a tower. Play it. Run out of star. Sweet. Yeah. And then this way we'll have three draws to get a threat. And they shouldn't know about the power plant, I don't believe, so. Maybe not. We drew off the sphere. So let's see what we can do. Yeah. Man. How 
many of those bad boys are they sighting? Three or four. And that's the search. No, they didn't. Probably realistically have any of I don't know if we can say live here, because, uh... Probably one man. There's mine. There goes our 5 0. Okay. I was, well, I was feeling good about that one, yeah. too. I guess yeah, it worked. We got hit by it. What, was it. That was three, right? In the end, they truly are a control deck. We just didn't have lands. Both both game two and three, we got hit with three Fulminator Mages. That's just absurd. It's reasonable. Gosh, we got 17 viewers. Yeah, we were up to 19 a second ago. Right. Thanks, everybody, for joining. My name is Dewey, or Unstable Voodoo. This is Andrew, and behind me we have Hannah. We're Team Switch. We have, like, I don't even know, like seven other team members. Something like that. Something like that. So if you guys ever see us at GPs or Opens, come say hello. We're not sponsored for anyone. We do our own thing. But... If there's a sponsor out there that would like to pick us up. Pick us up. This game's beautiful. It doesn't have a way to find Tron, but it's close enough, I think. Yeah, you know, you have two Tron pieces and I have relevant land drops. And you have the best land in the deck. Oh, and if anyone does uh, not know my stream schedule, I, I play on Sunday nights uh, at about 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. right now. Um, I used to do two nights, and I will go back to two nights once school slows down, but I'm in the middle of getting my master's right now, so I have to dedicate time to that. But uh, I have been picking up Arena, and I have my collection going on there now, so what I'm going to try to do is do one night of Standard and one night of Modern. Get that Team Rail Elemental business going. I already have a build. Rug Elementals. Whew. Yeah, I have that built. I have Esper Hero built. I have Phoenix built. Just the thought of it's just getting me excited. Ponza. Beautiful. It could be Devoted Devastation. That's, That's a beautiful draw. We need them um, to not do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything because every time I say something, it happens. I'm not even going to look when they, you know, just mm. blood move. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Don't fill it just Play a tracker. Play a tracker. Play a tracker. Play a tracker. Don't pillage. Don't pillage. Don't do it. Don't do it. Tracker. Come on. Oh, no. No! So sad. It's so sad. Alright, so Oathstone's pretty good, uh, but they have like six mana next turn, so I'm expecting like a Worm Coil or, or an Inferno Titan or Planeswalker. Or, yeah, the uh, new Chandra. No, I got uh, Eli Brooks on the uh, Nissa Vital Force. Oh. Convinced him. Is that the new one? It's the one from Kaladesh. It untaps a lane and makes it 5 5. Oh. Right, this Rabble Master. Ponza, Ponza, Ponza. Sweet. Alex, where are you at? They're playing your deck. We're just going to draw a mine off the top. It's fine. Don't build it, just bro. Oh my goodness. Don't do it. <laughs> we were on the player. No. We're so dead. We were on the play, too, weren't we? You're so dumb. Like, I don't think we actually We will Tron. actually die to the Rabbit Master before we yeah. assemble Tron. Yeah. So let's, let's call it here. Let's move on. Yeah. Great thing about Tron, the games are really decided very quickly one way or the other. Alright, we uh, have to lower our curve. Like so we're here. all I like of those the in. Toast. Take out the relics. Take out the Ulamog. Now bear with me on this, Dewey. Huh. 
What do you think about pithing? Uh, for the Ar Arbor Elf. Okay. Want to go like that? Yeah, I like that. I don't think I don't think Liberated is that great in this matchup. It's so. not. I mean, potentially, we should just bring another worm coil and take out all the Liberated. I think that's more reasonable. Okay, let's do that. I think like so. There's the seven and eight mana uh, being Ugin Spear Dragon is really an, you know so you could argue f about it in this matchup, but realistically, Ugin just does more when he hits the worm. Uh, perfect. So got two pieces of land searching and two copies of mine. I'm gonna shift the mine to take. I want to keep the blast zone because we can take out a ton of one drops with it. Yeah, I think so. All I'm saying is we should have been playing robots. Crushed every matchup so far. Okay. <laughs> Ponza? All, for all the Ponza players out there, I want to ask you one question. How do you beat a Darksteel Citadel? <laughs> you don't! They just, like, have all the, like... Doesn't their side have, like, Shatterstorm and Ancient Grudges and stuff and, and Anger of the Gods? Sure. They have Anger of the Gods. They don't do Shatterstorm anymore. No? No. Shatterstorm's bad. Pro tip, I play this a lot in my in my escape yeah. list. I don't think it's I don't think it's bad as like a one of like a silver bullet. Yeah. But it's like it's not great. It's fine. It's not great. It's fine. It's never been great. I haven't played it. I haven't played escape shifts in a while, but I played it when there was more artifact decks we played. Yeah. We really need them not to do this again, and they're doing it again. They always have it. What do you expect? Come on, play a tracker. They ne it's they always have pillage. Play a tracker. Eli was in chat. He tell you they always have pillage. Tracker. Blood braid. Tracker. Blood braid. Well, they use the red first. If that tells you anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, find another mine. <laughs> My bones are in pain. You know, actually, that's not a bad drop. Yeah, they're most likely going to blow up the mine. Yeah. Please don't. Please don't. Let us have this one. Don't pillage me, bro. They're so doing it again. Oh, that's fine. No, they can still uptake mana and then do it. Okay. Oh, they're shooting us. Yeah, cool. They're shoot. Yeah. We're fine. Okay. Be cool. Be cool. Well, that's good, actually. Yeah, we got redundant pieces. Uh, we <sighs> can't actually do anything with them, so I feel like I'd rather run out the blast zone and then just pass. Okay. If they don't stone rain us on the next turn, we can uh, push out the last drawn piece and no stone. Yeah, we're all still on the board. This blast one. Cool. Please. Elf. Make my day. Play the elf. Play it. I mean, they're not, they should be playing it. Unless I want to shoot us for two, I guess. I just want to point out this was a miss a vital force. Done. Ten damage to us already. If it was big miss, so they'd be ramping themselves and hitting us for three every turn. Three. Big miss. Huh? Oh the um The one that's wrecking standard. No, they, don't, they don't play that. Why not? They don't play Vital Force either. <laughs> vital Force Vital Force just nuts. Don't pillage us, bro. Okay, so they're, they're playing something big. Big Chandra? Come on. No. Oh, Storm Breath. No, they would play Storm Breath pre combat. Well, I don't know why they didn't play that. Oh, this, is this was pre combat. Chat, don't, don't pay any mind to me. Okay. Don't look up to me. I don't know why they're using Glory Bringer instead of Storm Breath. Uh, 
creatures. Where the land destruction deck now upon it. I mean, we've always been the land destruction deck, to be fair, but we do. We're the mono green land destruction deck. Mono green control over here. And even if they blow up the power plant here, that's fine, because we're going to drop Thought Not. The only person that runs true mono green devotion, my nemesis. He kills you every time. Michael Nielsen! He kills you every, every time. time. Uh, I don't want to I that. really like just throwing out the factory and kind of like... <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, just take the other Rebel Master. There's an argument to take the tractor, but I, th I think the. Uh, oh, we're gonna be taking a blast on a three here. Yeah. That's fine. Take a blast on a three. Yeah, Michael Nelson crushes me every time. Like, I crush in game one. In games two and three, I never draw anything relevant, ever. I'm so happy that he's, like, the mono green player. He doesn't even care what format it is. He's like, I'm playing a mono green deck every time. Yeah. Hmm. He's not going to run the tracker into this. I kind of, like... Just holding it up. Just holding it up. We can make a token. Yeah, make a token. All right, let's pass. I kind of want to throw the map out there too, though. No, I don't want to show them that we can um... reassemble. Yeah. Okay, so how big is Rebel Master? It's gonna be a four-two, but we're just gonna make a token to block it. Oh yeah, that's right. It doesn't get tokens. Oh. I love how they have a, uh, they actually have a assembly worker token on Moto. Yeah. But in paper, there actually isn't one. Yeah. <laughs> what do they got? Tracker follow up. Come on. Sure. You know, debatably getting. S do they. Does Paza run a. Um, do they run a, for a mountain? Or is it all forest? I believe it's all forest. We could ghost quarter the stomping ground, but that would give them a token. Probably not one, but... No. I'm just running this out. Um, I think we can get rid of the tracker. Yep. Pass it off. We're gonna swing. We got a much faster clock. They got a 1 1. <laughs> they have small breath too. That's all the more reason to swing. They're gonna play land route. And then you're gonna be like, oh, that's a cool tag. And then you're gonna be like, block, storm breath. <laughs> On the next turn. Another track. They have it all. Except land. Go to get forest. Yeah. And Sylvan's crying for. What? No, we're just gonna play the fractals. That's right. We're just holding the factory. No big deal. You just wanna keep generating. To we can need the game to life. I'm just saying. He can't answer those tutus. <laughs> he would have conceded to the tutus just as well. I <laughs> do not think so. <laughs> at all. Chat, tell him he's wrong. Uh, I see nothing in the chat. They're just, they're finding their keyboards, that's all it is. This is horrible. Could we go five? Yeah, he says you're fairly certain you're wrong, dude. Isn't he referring to you? I don't, I disagree. He found his keyboard, thank you. Appreciate it, Bruce. It's a key. Yeah. Shoot them a worm cold to the bottom. Nope. Goodness, you're a no, we're gonna ship the sphere. We're never gonna resolve the We have to ship the sphere and the Karn. 
We're here for a reason. Either one, but that's fine. Well, maybe not. Like, maybe we do ship the worm coil because Karin can go get us. Um, like a bridge. Yeah. So we'll ship worm coil and spear. I just want to thank you, Bryce, for you know telling Dewey he's wrong. I'm so happy that Bryce thinks you're wrong. It's like one of the, it's one of my favorite things in life. Unbelievable. I'm a ginger, and we're never wrong, which means we're always right. Is that how big a ginger is? Yeah, born. We were born right. I thought you were born without soul. Was that, was that born like, without soul and beautiful. See, I thought being a wife meant that you were always right. It definitely does. I, I feel like my wifeliness trumps your genderness. I disagree. I agree with her. I think she's mistaken. No Chat tells she's mistaken. I feel like you don't tell your wife you're mistaken. <laughs> I feel like she might be right on that one. <laughs> Happy significant other. Happy significant life. Do we welcome to your significant other? It's like really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we broke that one up. Andrew. <laughs> That's like super awkward. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> what? All right, I'm gonna give you a look. My apologies. <laughs> ha! Bryce agrees. Unbelievable, Bryce! Unbelievable. Did I say? He says it, you're right again. The fact they didn't stone rain us, though, means they don't have it. They, like, would... No, that's not true. Oh, please. No, no, it's not true because they have. They can do it this turn. It's still relevant. They ah. were able to apply pressure, and then they could still rain this turn, still keep us off Tron, and they increase the amount of damage they deal. I'm not going to say that's a reasonable play. That's pretty reasonable. <laughs> So we, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to think it all. Just run it out. Just to run it out here. Uh, no, let's let's run out sphere, sphere, crack it, and no sphere, and just play the thing needle. Yeah. And name torch T O D. <sighs> Torture of Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to limit our hand to nothing. Yeah, I think the problem is that we're just. Like, the actual percentage of us getting out of this are almost non existent. We need to do. Well, no, we're going to uptick Karn on the sphere and block that. Or the Pithy. Hmm? Or the Pithy. Yeah, that's fine. So then we'll take four next turn. Trek. <laughs> Another blood moon. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, that's my bad. Ballista keeps us in the game. We could just shoot out this right away and go to two. I like that. Yeah. Or if we wait, uh, yeah, we, at, we end up taking one less damage, but it's we're still dead to bolt. No, no, we're, at, we're adding, we're putting a creature back on bolt. Yeah, no, I know. Right. But we do, we do get a block. We get a block in, but they get another creature. Yeah, we would block the rabbit mass for there. You shoot two goblins. We can't do that. Can we take one less. What? They have a rabble master still. That's the problem. Yeah, Bryce has blocked the token to shoot, but it's, uh, you just need to kill the Rabble Master. It's just too good. So, we can't... We're just dead. Yeah, we're dead. We're actually dead. That's unfortunate. Very close. Very close. Uh, turns out, double Blood Moon does work. Yeah, it's pretty good. Man, we went from a swift 2-0 to a swift 2-2. So, these games go by so fast. Yeah. In like an hour, we're almost done with the whole league. It's absurd. But, chat, we get the sweetest deck after this. We are playing Vanifar Pod. And it's a spicy brew. Uh, 
That's better. Were you thinking about like keeping that last one? No. I think we ship the Uig in here. I agree. You know what I almost picked up for you doing? What's that? It's part of the trade, because I just couldn't find anything. A Japanese concrete creator. I appreciate the fact that you thought of me. Like, yo, you know what we would like this thing? You know what? There's nothing else that I could even remotely think of that I want. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I was just like, I was like, Dewey, he appreciates non-foil altar arts. I do, I do. Um, yeah. I appreciate the fact I actually played against this on Friday. Dredge? Yeah. yeah. Dumpstered it. I feel like you. I want. I want chat. I wanted to just make a PSA, public service announcement, if you would. That's what it stands for. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to add if you will. It's literally what it stands for. So, shenanigans is good, but it's not as good as nature's claim. Okay, you don't bring in two shenanigans in one nature's claim. For them, they absolutely do. Blew him out because of shenanigans and sorcery. Yeah, but it doesn't mean they shouldn't bring it in. No, no, no. He he chose to br he chose to bring in only one uh, nature's claim. He got blown out to the uh, what do you call it? Rip. R.I.P. Bro. I I, I, I feel like you're bringing all them. You should bring as much of them as you can. Yeah, I think you should. Oh, that's not worth it. Okay. I think, uh, just exile it. Just exile the art right now. What? Why? That's four damage to me. I, I, oh, I actually value, uh, Creeping Chill pretty highly. Okay. Because they're a glorified burn deck. So realistically, we go from 20 to 12 in a single turn? No. Then we're like one conflagrate away from dying. Uh, last Tron piece. Oh, so looks really good. Like cool. Hmm. If we owe stone, we're just waiting. I think it. I think so. Here's my thing. My logic. So we're emptying our hand out a little bit more mm -hmm. for uh, incendiary bridge. No, I know. I'm saying we're waiting and cracking this. No, he gets a dredge four in hand. I mean, the grave. I don't want that. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think we just take five. That was terrible. Terrible. Their, their shriek horns have been awful. Okay, that's gross. That's fine. So now... Okay, so the, that Narcomiba actually does change things quite a bit. No, yeah, we're waiting until the end of turn. You want to go to seven? Yeah. Huh? It's your world, I just live in it. Here's all, I'll show you what. We're going to let them do their thing. We're going to go to seven. They're going to bring back Amalgam. Sure. Mm-hmm. And that's even better. We have one. a relic in this side, don't we? We certainly do. We could have fetched out the relic last turn. No, we want to do it this turn. Okay. So we're going to pop it and then we're going to... We're going to let this resolve. We're going to wipe the board. And we're going to snatch a relic. We're going to snatch a relic and exile the whole graveyard. I'm in on that. Uh, but Golgari Thug does get his ability. Yeah, he... Probably he, putting the Narcomevo on top. Yeah, he puts the Narcomevo on top, which is great for us. Yeah, which means that's dead draw in the next Exactly. Game. And also means they can't crack their fetch. They should have cracked fetch in response. They can still grab blood gas. What's that? They can still grab blood gas. I suppose. That's what we're gonna do. They're get their blood gas back. 
When they get hard cast creeping John kill us. Yeah. That's gross. Still the best line, I think. We could run out the other Karn. Down tick will get walking ballista on one. Shoot the blood gas and then crack the relic to reduce the damage. I actually like that quite a bit. Or we d uh, do it and go get Torpor Orb. Or we just hold up Ballista and then we can block one and shoot the other. I like that. Block one, shoot the other. That yep. way we say the highest life total. Even though we really want a... Oh wait, we can't, because we have to crack a relic. It's fine. Uh, so we're going to go chromatic no, sphere. No, I think, I think it's fine, because we'll just play... We can wipe the board though, still the next turn. Right, you mean for the blood gas. I think, so... Because otherwise he's getting, creep, he's getting prized the Malcolm back. Yeah, he's also going to be getting Narcom. That's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah. But I'm not sure what you're saying fine to. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. we got to crack it. So star and then crack the relic. So the great creator is good. Problem is we just need to, uh, we really need another Tron piece so we can just empty our hand. Did he draw the creature? Yeah, he has it. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I think that was the correct line. Yeah. It was, it was really awkward. Alright, we're gonna bring in the bring Torpor Orb in. Relic. Yeah, Torpor Orb. They play damping spheres, right? I don't believe so. They do play ley line or uh I don't know. I don't know if they play uh damping sphere. Okay. No. It might be fine just to bring it in, just to be on the safe side. Because it is, like I said, a glorified burn deck. Uh, yeah, cutting card. I'm fine with cutting a great grader. Because we're bringing a lot of stuff we'd be uh, fetching out anyways. I don't want to get the little quote. One quote's really good against them. Yeah. Do we even want Ballista? Hmm. No. Well, yeah, I think it's better than side. I think, so... Yeah, we can go yeah. patch it up. Yeah, I think it's better than side. It's tight. What we're going to do is we're going to open with Torpor Orb and I slam it down and be like, now what? It literally just stops an album. Yeah, it's fine. It's literally their clock. It's got to look like, I don't know. Is it that great? Yeah. You bring it in against them? Me? Yeah. I would. No, in your in your in your uh, Affinity? Yeah. Huh. 100 percent You wanna know why? Why? Their deck doesn't block. <laughs> hmm? Their creature their main threats are blood gas. Mm -hmm. First line of blood gas. Blood gas can't block. <laughs> so you just don't want to melt because that way they can't block things? Yeah. That's funny. It's so the it's a uh, a lot of times in that, that kind of match, mm -hmm. it ends up being a uh, stalemate, and we just stare at each other, passing, and he's, they just get a lot of resources until they can um, just uh, conflagrate you for lethal. Yeah. So if you can prevent them from blocking... Yeah, you can keep swinging. You just keep swinging, yeah. And it's only one... It's just one card. I'm not committing that much. There you go. They got a thug. We didn't get a Tron piece. Uh, let's just go for the guarantee turn four. Because no matter what, we have to run the four, so we're trying to form. Tron. Yeah, and I think I think Ugin realistically ends the game anyways. Yeah. Because so. we could have got like, you know, 
They've got a cool flag. They've got a cool flag. Forgotten a... Cave? Whew. Yeah. Spicy. That's what Braxton's on. They did a lot of good work for him yesterday. I was going to ask him what he was on. So it's Dredge. And Daniel was on... Uh, Human? Yeah, no, he was on Scape Shift. Was he? Yeah. Standard cool. Shift, not Breach Shift either. Really? Yeah. Crazy. He thinks Breach Shift is trash. Yeah? His words. Does he have anything new from... Uh... Uh, autumn, va uh, summer's autumn or summer's veil, vale, whatever the new one is. From twenty. Yeah. Nothing from. Uh... Wow. It's a really good dredge for them. Um, nothing from uh, Modern Horizons. Uh, I don't think so. Um, do we just stirrings here for the shot at Relic to slow them down? Otherwise, they go land. And Cun Flag. They have four cards in hand. How Otherwise... How many Cun Flags are in the yard? They have Grudge already in the yard, which is worth hitting. Um, yeah, I think Agent Strange is fine. It's a gamble, because otherwise we're not forming Tron and not dropping Ugin. Yeah. Let's gamble. And we're dead if we don't. There's a Relic. And we can Thought Knots here next turn. Yeah, we'll form Tron and Thought Knots here. Can we do both? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to Yeah, we're going to form Tron and Thought Knots. We'll five mana after the. Correct. Yeah. We're going to go to 10, which is a big deal for them. Yeah, we're going to go to 10. Could Karn and go fetch up a relic and tap that on them. That might be a little too greedy. So here's the thing, I don't think so. I think it's reasonable. Uh no, because So no, they've already gotten rid of two creeping chills, okay? Yeah. So they need they're really banking on dredging right now. We hit a lot of their stuff just right out of the gate. Okay. And by Getting the relic on the last turn, we time walked him. So, okay, so they have they literally have nothing well, they have reasonable cards to do. Them. Yeah. Their cards a lot of times their cards can't do anything. That's the issue. Yeah. That's fine. Cards dead, we got a nine. Cards dead. Uh, And then I think we just Ugin. You like Ugin? Or double Thought Double not. Thought not. I like that too. We've got nine mana. We can Chromatic. Dig no. first. Yeah. yeah. Is it nine? No, we have ten mana. So yeah, either way, let's dig first. Dig again. Yeah. Dig nine. Yeah. Yeah, because it's net zero. It's minus one. It's not bad. Yeah, let's either way, let's thought not them twice here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, take the two flag. What was the other stuff in here? We'll take a sec in a second. Stinkweed thug. Let's take the thug. Actually. We want to take the stinkweed. Take the thought seas. Guarantee the Ugin on the next Good. It's fair. It's very fair. And realistically, so if they on the next turn don't hit the land, mm -hmm. we can play Ugin and just plus on the Narcomila. And just swing with it. Oh my god. So good. We can also Thrag Tusk and Worm Coil here. I actually really like the Thrag Tusk. Put us out of the uh, flag. Uh, or blood gas. Range. And we can swing with thought knots now. Who oh, needs planeswalkers? That was a 
a really risky line we took, but I think it, I think we had to. Oh, the relic. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was a curved line though. Wait, see what I mean with their clock? Where if you took out that prized amalgam, if that wasn't in the in play, they have the zero clock. That's all those. <laughs> we'll keep this. It's reasonable. <laughs> this is like everything you've ever wanted. It's got relic and torpor. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> what are you taking, opponent? They're gonna take the relic. What, is, what do you mean? It's not they even a question. Oh no. It's like not even a question there. They don't even know how good torpor is against them. Because it's not that great. They don't have a second land. How are they gonna play? What? <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> they don't have a second. <laughs> they, okay. Oh, just got the surprise to my lips. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. well. All right, I'll do I'll, 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 I'll Oh, just got the surprise to my lips. All right. I would love just a relic off the top. Nope. I just want to point out, it does shut down our Thrag Tusk and our Thought Hunt. <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. Oh, thought that is an ETB. Hmm. What did you think it was? It was a cast trigger, to be honest. Well, how do you think it's a cast trigger with Displacer? They're going to take the Thought Knot, though. They're going to take Warm Coil. How is that a foolish mistake? We have a 4-4 four, four that like, draws them a card when it dies. So it's a 3 turn block against them. Lady can't get any blockers. That pri that thought, or uh, yeah, the prize weapon there. They're going to conflag it. Nope. What do you mean no? They're going to conflag it. Oh, good. There you go. We're going to take 4 here. No big deal. Oh, that's fine. Get yourself a 1-1 one, one blocker. No big deal. You realize they just can flag the bot, not right? You're overthinking this, dude. That's not even overthinking. That's just literally thinking. <laughs> I think the key might have been but at the same time we had uh, we had relic yeah we had relic and torpor orb if they didn't have the thought seize that relic would have came down to one <laughs> it's like not really good because we're going to thought not them they're going to bring back their conflag. They're going to conflag us or them, doesn't matter. I mean, us or the law not, doesn't matter. And then they get to, to go four cards, six cards. Yeah, we're dead. We're actually dead. No matter what, we're dead. Wow. They get all four creep creatures in that game. They're really good. Yeah, they can flag here for lethal. Look at that purple orb style. Two amalgams. Reasonable. Yeah. I suppose. Think how many times that, like, the, no, 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 I'm serious about that. The prize mug would have came back. Both prize amalgams. And mm -hmm. that initial prize mug would have sped up the clock at single, like a two, yeah. turn or two, so. All right, we are going to switch over to Vanifar Pod, but we are going to take a quick 10-minute break so we can refill our drinks and whatnot and go to the bathroom. So back in just a bit, I'm going to stop the recording.